What's up guys, um, I'm back to do the full review on the Smoke X-Cube 2. Um, I'm going to screw the tank on there the rest of the way. I'm going to show you how the app and everything works with it. Um, I just downloaded it on my tablet, which I'm actually charging with the uh, MVP 3.0 Pro because the battery's dead and my cord's not long enough to reach all the way over here, so... I'm gonna have to hold this thing and this thing just to show you how it works, but uh, oop, let's see here. Now it's five clicks to turn this on. One, two, three, four, five. It's at 40.9. Battery's half full, which I haven't charged this thing in days, so. Surprise is actually still that full. 0.25 ohm goes from 0.25 to 0.26. Um, I got the E Leaf EC head in here, which I really don't like, but now that I have them, I have to use them because I wasted all my money on them. Um, I do have a 0.3 uh, Atlantis 2 coil, but I had it in here before and then the insulator melted on it and I changed it and I'm still kind of scared to use it. I don't want to kill, end up killing a whole tank of juice because the coil's still going to taste like shit. So, but, uh, let's see here. Confirm. Then three clicks to get into the menu. One, two, three. There's your Bluetooth. Press and hold. Click once. Press and hold. Bluetooth on. Is, oh, press the button. It says scanning. And it says X cube two. Just click on it. And then once my password, which I'm not gonna show you what my password is, but I just click confirm. And then there it is. So, you can see, I don't know if you can really see it, but when I hit it, it shows you all the data of you hitting it. It even shows you seconds that you hit it, but it's right there in that white circle. I You can't see it though, but, and then, right down here you can turn your LED light on and off. Right here is how many times you hit it while it's on Bluetooth. How long you hit it, what voltage you were at, what the date was, the wattage. And um, actually if you click on this, it will show you, actually showing me, at one second, two seconds, and at three seconds. It shows you how many seconds you hit it, and that at what each second what it's putting out. At one second it was 41.45. And that's 0.26 ohm. At 3.25 volt, second second it was 3.24 volt. At 41.19, second one was at 3.25 volt, 41.37. At the 0.26 ohm, which is actually pretty cool. And you just click back. Then back again. And let's see what else. Got... You can set a puff counter to how many puffs you want it to limit, limit you to. You can set it for each day of the week. I actually don't do that, so I'm not even going to bother setting that. And then, here's all your settings. you got your temp, temperature coefficient. Well, here's your temperature mode, which it's not in temperature mode right now. It's in just regular power mode, wattage mode. So you got your temperature coefficient, which you can set. Your variable voltage mode, oh wait, yep, variable voltage mode, custom voltage mode, and then variable power mode, and then custom power mode. See, say it says, see how it says 6 watt, let's see, I'll put it to, it says 49.5 watt, and then right now, this is at 40.9, you just click, click this little, click this right here, to light that up, and then click the check mark and it will
will change. 79.5. See, so go back. Yep, 79.5. Then you can do mechanical mode if you wanted to. Just click. Actually, no, I can't do that because I don't have the temp mode and stuff on, and I haven't updated this yet. So, because you're supposed to, right now, mine only has soft, the soft, normal, and hard, because I don't have a computer to update it. So, I can't update it until I get a computer. But it's supposed to have minimum, minimum, soft, normal, hard, and max for the ramp up time. You can set all that. This thing is actually pretty sweet. Now, let's see here. You can go to your actual settings. It even already knows the color of my LED. And I actually set this on my phone. I never set it on this. And it automatically knows what it is. Now it's on Bluetooth. But let's see here. i get down a little closer to show you. Um, got your upgrade to upgrade it to titanium. Which it wants me to log in. But um, I'm not going to go through all that. But it's like $0.49. Cents to upgrade it so it does titanium and temperature control mode but um you can set a password for it your vaporizer name um change it from celsius to degrees which i'm going to put it on fahrenheit then charge alert it's at 20 percent you can change that then time to close ble 10 minutes which i'm not really sure what the ble is i don't know if that's for bluetooth or what but um, set LED time 60 seconds, and then for this, you can change the color of your LED. Right now, mine's set on purple because my girlfriend likes it, but if I click this, it'll change it to where it'll change a bunch of different colors. It'll run through them all, and then this one's the slower version of that. You click it, and it changes slowly. I'm actually going to turn the wattage back down real quick on this so I don't feel like burning that coil even though it's rated for 80 watts I really don't feel like burning it and have to put another one in it because they're shitty coils so set it down to like 43.7 works click the check mark forty three point seven so we'll go back in to settings. I'll show you a little more about the LED. Um, click blue. Changes it to blue. Click green. Changes it to green. Click red. Changes it to red. Or you can go up here. Click green. It's green. Yellow. It's yellow. I'm going to leave it on purple because I don't really mind the purple. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. You can do a lot of stuff with this app. Drop my other box mod because I got to use it to charge this. But uh, let's see what else did I miss. It tells you the temperature right down there in the center, right above my little home key. The temperature of your mod. You can't really see it, but it's at 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Battery voltage left. It's at 50%. Um, your strength of your Bluetooth, which is at medium. Even though it's really close, I don't understand. It's always like that. It, it still works perfectly fine, though. This tablet actually works better than my phone with the Bluetooth. But um, it's usually the older Androids that work good, that work better with it, I guess. Um, until you, actually, I think if you upgrade this, it might work better with the newer Androids. If you actually upgrade it first, I haven't upgraded it. I think there's like... This one's like uh, the version 6, and there's like version 8 out for it now. So there's actually two newer versions out, version 7 and 8. So I'm just going to skip it right to the 8. But you're supposed to delete the old version off this first before you put the new one on it. Because if you don't do that, I guess your mod will not work properly. It will work, but it won't work right. So it's better off you delete the old one and then put the new one on. Um, let's see here. What else? Um. Yeah, I don't even have a 
nickel coil on it, so I can't even get into temperature mode. I don't know, I gotta update my mod, but you can, you're supposed to be able to ac access all the temperature settings, the coefficient and everything for your ramp up time, and, uh, all that. But, uh, I just had this in temp mode and I clicked the check mark and it set it right back. But yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. You can see everything that I just hit. Shows you it all. I wish you could see the uh, second counter. Tells you the atomizer, which is now saying is 0.27. I'm guessing it's because it's getting hot. But uh, the power is at 43.46. Voltage 3.45. And temperature 0 because I don't have a nickel coil on it. Um, I actually do have a nickel coil. I don't want to put it in it because for some reason I had it in for like 10 minutes when I first got it. And uh, I took it back out and I, I rinsed it out and let it dry out. And then the side of it decided to corrode so I'm not going to bother putting it back in to show you guys i'm sorry uh i'll probably update this video with the nickel eventually i really don't want to use nickel i'd rather use the titanium but um they don't make titanium coils for it yet so i'm gonna have to get some wire and make my own coil and rebuild one of them ones and put it in or i'll use my rda and just wrap some nickel in it just to show you real quick i would like to use the titanium but i probably actually won't hit it myself i mean i wasted money on the nickel wire i really don't even want it um but yeah that's that's pretty much it with it um you could turn the led off if you want to so then you don't have no led you can turn it back on right from your device or right from your tablet or phone Turns it back on. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Set. Like, if you click right up here in the corner, it's for set, new puff. Set the new vape puffs. So you can set it to how many puffs you want it to tell you when to stop. Like, if you reach your limit for the day, what you want it to be. Like, say if you want to only hit it 100 times a day. You can set it, and it will let you know that you've reached that. Um, I'm actually not going to do that because I vape like a beast. I go through tanks upon tanks upon tanks. Like, if I were to just go grab all my bottles just to show you, this is just, like, within, like, the last probably, I'd say, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a month, all the juice bottles. that I went through, like you can see them all. There's a lot of them. Even this little guy right here, which is Vista Vapors, Blue Raspberry. I thought it was a sample bottle they sent me. I paid two bucks for it. I thought it was gonna be pretty good. Good, they had the 20% boost, six milligram nicotine, and uh, it's a little 12 milliliter. Paid a dollar 99 for that. And then, um, you got your Walking Dead. This is like a, van um, not vanilla. But, um, like a melon custard cream, which is actually really good. I don't have any left. Um, it's like a nice, like, orange color. It's it's actually really good. But, uh, this is what I've been vaping on. This is what all these other bottles are right here. It's all the centerfold by Pornstar. Pornstar Vapors. There's so many of them. I actually still have a few other bottles over there just laying around. That's actually my full one. You can see, like, I've been smoking a lot of this. This isn't just the last few weeks. I've wasted so much money on this stuff, it's unreal. But, uh, yeah, this thing's great. Um, I would recommend it. I wouldn't recommend dropping it. So always keep it in your little case that it comes with. That's what I do. You can use it right in here. I mean, it restricts a little bit of airflow in your tank with the side of it, but I still put it right in. Press the button. works great but um yeah that's pretty much it and uh this thing it actually works real well to charge stuff when you really need to charge something and you don't have something to charge it with i mean works great 
It's actually getting a little warm from charging. But, uh, like you can already tell, it's getting a little bit of battery. And this thing was completely dead when I plugged it in. Completely dead. Right now it says 84.2 was, um, the temperature of my mod. The other one, the X-Cube. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to unplug this now because I don't need it anymore. Great, great device. I do recommend getting one. I got it from Vape NW, like I said in my previous video. Um, for four, uh, 73, like 97. It would have came to like 83, 97 without the discount code, which I'm pretty sure was X cube, 160 watt, and then like 10% off or something like that. It was something like that. You can look it up on Google. That's what I did. I looked up um, X cube discount code for Vape NW. And that's what came up, and it worked. So I was very happy because if I went to got the batteries with it, and I would have had to pay the five dollars shipping because anything over seventy five, you get free shipping. So it would have been seventy five dollars just for this, and then I put the batteries in, used the discount code, so I basically got the batteries for three bucks. They would have been thirteen eighty something or something like that, and so I got the whole thing for seventy three eighty seven with the batteries. So that's actually cool. Um, yeah, this thing's a beast. It really is. I love it. And then I can show you the settings again too real quick. You just click three times, two, three, to get into everything. Then there's your Bluetooth. Press and hold. Click once to turn it off. Press and hold. Then one, two, three. And then just click once through your mode, your LED settings, your puff counter. Basically everything I showed you on the tablet. Um, your settings. Your on and off. And then you just press and hold to get into all those and then just click once through all the settings to get them and then press and hold which one you want. Like, oh, I don't want unit, I want unit on. Like, let me show you the temp thing. Two, three. Mode, press and hold. And just quickly press real quick and then press and hold. And then that's your normal, I like it on, press and hold. And then it says nickel. You can change it to titanium when you get the titanium upgrade. Press and hold. Then you got your single coil. Or dual coil for the nickel and I would usually use single so you just press and hold and then it's on nickel get back in there Oop, past it press and hold click real quick that's memory mode lot mode press and hold normal press and hold great device I love it um, that's pretty much it don't forget to like and subscribe um, Hopefully in the future I will be doing giveaways. Um, you guys probably will have to pay the shipping for the things that get shipped out. Um, I might give away that nickel wire because I really don't want it. I wasted like 10 bucks on it. I really don't want it. I only used a few feet of it and it's a 30 foot spool of it. So uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks.